physical matter did not give rise to life. It's the other way around. Life gave rise to physical matter. Once there was only life and no matter. That's all there was was life. And no physical matter whatsoever existed. And then personal life created matter and there was both life and matter. Now here's a great division between atheists and Christians. The atheistic worldview and the Christian worldview. For atheists, everything begins with inanimate matter and energy. That's where it begins. It's just there, like God. It's just there. And since there was nothing there before to make it what it was, it could have been anything. I'm not sure they think about that very much. It could have been anything. There's no statistical probability one way or the other because there was nothing there to create a statistical probability. It just could have been anything. And they choose to believe stuff and energy. That's just an act of faith. There's zero, zero proof for that. They just have faith. They believe that matter was the first thing that was there. They don't know this. They guess. They guess. They say impersonal matter Impersonal energy are original. They're absolute. They're ultimate. And then, for billions of years, with no creator, no intelligence, no design, no purpose, no plan, there emerges from this mindless, lifeless, random matter and energy, not only irreducible complexities of independent, interdependent biological structures, but also this glorious thing called living personhood. You and me. That's their account. For Christians, it's the other way around. First there was life. And then there was matter and energy. First there was living personhood. And then there was matter and and energy. In the beginning was the Word, and in Him was life. Before there was anything else, there was life. Wherever you turn on this planet and see a living person, you see an image of absolute reality. Absolute, eternal, ultimate, original reality. The Word, God, God. 